An update with where your stimulus checks are and what happens if you don't see your money. Plus, I think you see uh, the breadth of sentiment of how we uh, love our communities enough to pause our enjoyment of them a little bit. Governor Jay Inslee urging Washington to stay at home this Easter weekend. And then it's protection we all should be wearing. What you could be doing wrong with your face mask. We enjoyed temperatures in the 70s, even 80s across parts of the inland northwest, but a big cool down on the way for your Easter weekend. Good evening and thank you for staying up late with us tonight on this Good Friday. I'm Regina on. Let's get right to our top story of the night. Americans will start receiving their stimulus checks as early as next week. That's according to the IRS and Treasury Department. Most people do not need to do anything to get their money, but some people who don't typically file returns may be confused. So let's break it down for you. The IRS saying checks will be distributed automatically with no action required for most people. If you need to track your stimulus check. There is a tool for that. It's called Get My Payment and it will let you know if your check will be directly deposited into your bank or sent out via mail that'll be available for use by April 17th. So what happens if the IRS doesn't have someone's direct deposit information? In a few weeks, the Treasury plans to develop a web-based portal. Their individuals can provide their banking information to the IRS. That way individuals can receive payments immediately as opposed to checks in the mail. Well, the Washington Supreme Court has told Governor Jay Inslee to protect the health of inmates in the state during the coronavirus outbreak. This comes after inmates at Monroe Corrections Complex rioted on Wednesday over six inmates positive COVID-19 cases. Inmates there had asked the justices to order the release of some offenders, but state officials say the process of letting inmates out will take some time. Easter weekend has finally arrived, but Governor Inzi saying that this is the most pivotal time to be doubling our efforts and commitments to stay at home and stay healthy. It's easy to do physical distancing. Being patient on trails that are only two to three feet wide is kind of hard. You may have to pause to give others a chance to get off the trail. People are very eager to lift this as soon as possible. And the way to do that is to, to comply with this effort and do social distancing as much as possible. The more of us that do that, the sooner that we do that and the more intensely we do that, the faster we can get back uh, to business in the state of Washington. And Inslee reminding us that our only weapon here against coronavirus is social distancing, and it's something we should be practicing every day. Idaho's Governor Brad Little is urging the entire state to worship from home this Easter Sunday. In a statement he released earlier today, the governor said he and his wife would attend church services remotely by themselves, but still together with friends and community members. A few weeks back, Coeur d'Alene pastor Tim Remington and his church, The Altar, faced a backlash after holding service amidst stay-at-home orders this Sunday. He and his church will try to honor the governor's wishes while still serving communion. But ours is going to do a little bit different when they pull in. We're going to have masks on and gloves and we're going to serve them their little boxed communion and then they're going to go and whatever parking lot they want. Some of them are going down to the park, some of them are going back home, some of them are going to park in the church parking lot and then at nine o'clock straight up while we stream, then uh, we're all going to take communion together. And the church is pre-packaging individual communions before their service. Members will then pick them up from a drive through at the church and watch the Easter service from a stream. Well, here is your top three stories you need to know tonight. Sacred Heart Medical Center is taking part in clinical trials for an experimental drug for the coronavirus. Remdesivir is an experimental drug that's shown promise against some other coronaviruses. The drug is given through an IV. Sacred Heart is just one of several hospitals within the Providence Health System taking part in the trials. Masks arrived in Washington today from China. The Washington State Hospital Association has purchased 300,000 disposable surgical masks. The supplies will get distributed to hospitals, long-term care facilities, and organizations serving homeless individuals across the state beginning Monday, April 13th. 
Well, Spokane Parks and Rec reminding everyone to practice social distancing while using parks. Remember to recreate with your household unit. Keep six feet between you and others at all times and don't forget to go before you go. Many park restrooms will be closed. Spokane's Mayor Nadine Woodward is joining other local leaders and calling on Governor Inslee to allow home construction to continue. In a letter sent to the governor, she says in part, we're in this together and so it's imperative we recognize the unique challenges that each community across the state faces during this time. We implore you to reconsider your recent designation of residential construction activities as a non-essential activity. Commercial and residential construction have been deemed non-essential under this order. A spoke and construction business owner told us how this order is causing his company to struggle. I mean, I wish to tell you the truth. I feel like I have all sorts of applicant, applicants from restaurant industries who are closed right now that uh, would be great workers that I would feel okay about bringing on, but I need to have the demand and not hire a bunch of people and then run out of work for the guys that have been with us a long time. And this week, Spokane County Commissioners sent a letter to Inslee asserting their belief that construction of single-family homes should remain an essential function. And due to the stay-at-home orders, many seniors will miss out on prom and graduation this year. But one Spokane woman says she still wants them to feel very special, so she's offering free photography sessions. She told Creme 2, Shana Waltower, she's hoping to get at least 500 seniors signed up. If I go over that, I am more than happy to go over that. There are memorable moments many seniors won't experience this year, getting fancy for prom or walking down the stage. But photographer Nicole Pedersen says there's no reason they shouldn't still feel special. I think that's important because they've worked so hard on this. For the next few months, at least, she's catering her business to shooting pictures of high school and college seniors who still want to celebrate their graduations. A lot of these kids have already spent money for their prom gowns or their caps and their gowns, and they're not going to be able to use them. Um, so I wanted to make sure that they were at least captured in them. And in the week since she posted the offer on Facebook, more than 300 seniors have signed up. If I have to go into... July to shoot these seniors or August or whatever, I'm more than willing to go into summer. To follow the stay at home order, Nicole says she won't start taking the pictures until the order is lifted. I'm going to go through until every single senior has had these pictures done. She schedules surgeries for work during the day, but once she gets off, she says she'll be spending a lot of time at spots like Riverfront Park. And we can do these pictures right after work. We can do them on the weekends, whatever works for them. In Spokane, Shana Waltower, Creme 2 News. Such a beautiful deed there. I still have my high school senior photos, actually. Well, what a beautiful day we've had today. It was definitely sunny and around the inland northwest. So Michelle Boss joining me live from her home tonight. Hi, Michelle. This is your first night working Hi. from home, right? That's right. Working out of my basement, believe it or not. So it's nice. It's interesting. Hopefully my cat doesn't pay me a visit down here, but we did have some beautiful weather for this almost this entire week. And today we kind of topped it off with seeing a high of 70 in Spokane. It was 80 in Moses Lake. I wish we could keep that warmth in for the weekend, but unfortunately it doesn't look like it. Big changes on the way. Let's first take a look at a wind advisory that is going into effect for tomorrow for the area shaded in tan. That wind advisory starts at eight o'clock and goes till seven o'clock, including the Okanagan Valley and some of those stronger winds kind of spreading out into the upper Columbia Basin, the Columbia Basin. Moses Lake area. We could see wind gusts in the OMAC area up to 50 to 55 miles per hour. Sustained northerly winds 25 to 35 miles per hour. So it's certainly going to be windy. A little bit less wind as you get further south into Moses Lake, but still a breezy day and breezy just about all across the inland northwest. But here in Spokane, we'll likely only see wind gusts in the 20, 25 mile per hour range. For a few sprinkles earlier this evening. We've got cloudy skies out there right now and could see a few sprinkles overnight. We do have a chance of showers as well for the first half of our weekend. But here's a look at the wind forecast. You'll see those winds switching from the west and turning to the north tomorrow morning. And there you can see some of those higher wind gusts uh, over 20 miles per hour from about 10 o'clock through the 4 p.m. hour. Here's a look at your weekend. Saturday is going to be the worst weather-wise. It'll be much cooler, about 20 degrees. So we'll see showers, some windy conditions. It'll clear out for Easter Sunday, but get really cold. So Easter morning, look for temperatures to drop down into the mid-20s. Sunshine will help warm us back up, but only into the middle and upper 40s. Regina?
Definitely a big difference from today into this weekend. Thanks, Michelle.